I will be winding 2500 turns of 35 gauge wire and I'm going to demonstrate how the turret works also and while one coil is winding when it, when it rotates you can be uh, loading another coil and also part of this is to demonstrate how this roll pin will bring it down right near a slot that the inner wire will have to come out of a slot so anyways here we go now this is the first time I've only run a couple hundred turns on this so this is the first time it's gonna run uh, 2500 turns so it's starting out really nice and smooth there will always be fine adjustments to the Travis but um, I like the way it's going so far Right now, I think I have this on a setting of 30 out of 90, out of 99, and this could definitely go faster. Um, and, the, and once, you can see this, once the, the first couple turns go in the coil, I can cut the wire and pull off the one that was just finished. And so the beauty of this machine is while one coil is winding, another one can be uh, taped and the leads cut and so uh, there's and this is only one side of the machine there's the other side which got another turret so you can be winding too and while they're winding you can do any finishing operations taping them removing and putting on a fresh bobbin so we're up to 1500 turns now so we got one more thousand turns to go and this is uh, I'll tell you for my first full attempt at the full turns it's going quite well and the, the other beauty of this machine, when you go to rotate the next turret, um, you don't have to worry about tying off the start lead of the next coil, because that will happen as I rotate it. You, you will see in another uh, couple hundred turns. So, so we have about 300 turns to go, we're at 2200 now. It's filling in nicely. And we're almost up to the 25. Ideally, it should slow down in time to, to, to see how it's stopped right on the dime. And so now, if you watch, as I rotate this in, hit the button. There we go. And there's a second one going. So that's the beauty of the machine. Now, the minute that starts turning, I can cut the lead wire and pull the first one off. It's a little tight there because the wire compressed it, but um, and this probably should have been taped. Uh, before I took it off, but you can see how uh, you can see how the inside wire. I can get a. You can see that. You can see how that inside wire is going right through that slot. Just by the way I laid out the, the uh, and then the other one I can uh, bring to this other slot. So there's the two wires. Like I said this is only the first attempt. And uh, it looks pretty good. The only thing I did wrong on this, it's a mirror image. On the sample that was sent to me, the start lead was not on this side, it was on this side. So the, all we'd have to do is rotate the, the tooling 180 degrees and put the roll pin on the opposite side. So that's the only thing, it's a mirror image of the coil that was sent. And uh, that's pretty much it.